Imagine a young nation, barely 30 years old, thrown into a conflict with one of the world's superpowers, Britain. This was the reality for the United States in 1812. It all began with the declaration of war by the United States on Britain. But what led to this bold move? The reasons are multifold, and a closer look reveals a tangle of geopolitical and economic factors. Firstly, the United States was struggling under trade restrictions. Britain engaged in a long drawn out war with France was enforcing a naval blockade, impeding American trade with the French. This blockade was more than an inconvenience it was a chokehold on the young nation's economy, but the grievances didn't stop there. The British Navy, understaffed and stretched thin, began the practice of impressment or forced conscription of American sailors. These men were taken from their ships and forced to serve Britain, a direct violation of American sovereignty. The United States saw this as nothing short of an assault on its national honor. Lastly, the American expansion westward was met with resistance from Native American tribes. These tribes, fearing the loss of their lands, fought back. The twist in the tale was that they were not alone. Britain from its Canadian territories was providing support to these tribes, further inflaming the conflict. All these factors, the trade restrictions, impressment of sailors and British support of Native American tribes, coalesced into a potent mix of resentment and defiance. A wave of nationalism swept across the United States, leading to calls for war. The young nation feeling cornered and disrespected decided to stand its ground. On June 18, 1812 the United States officially declared war on Britain. Thus a young nation found itself once again in conflict with the British Empire, a conflict that would come to shape its destiny. The war raged on land and sea with victories and defeats on both sides. It was a time of upheaval, a time of change, and a time of uncertainty. Yet, amidst the chaos, the spirit of heroism and resilience shone through. Let's take a moment to think about key battles and events of the war. Picture the summer of 1814, when British forces advanced on Washington, D.C. They set the city ablaze, a site of destruction that left an indelible mark on American history. Yet this event steeled the resolve of the American forces who would not be so easily defeated. Then, there was the Battle of Baltimore. This was a defining moment for the American forces. The British launched a massive bombardment on Fort McHenry, yet the fort held strong. It was during this battle that Francis Scott Key penned the Star-Spangled Banner, inspired by the sight of the American flag still flying high amidst the smoke and debris. And let's not forget the Battle of New Orleans. This was one of the final major battles of the war, and it was here that Major General Andrew Jackson emerged as a national hero. His leadership and strategic brilliance led the American forces to a decisive victory, even though the battle took place after the treaty ending the war had been signed. Jackson's triumph helped to boost American morale and fostered a sense of national pride. These battles and the people who fought in them shaped the course of the war and the future of the United States. They demonstrated the courage, the resilience, and the unyielding spirit of a young nation determined to defend its sovereignty. As we delve deeper into the heat of the battle, we are reminded of the strength and the tenacity of the American forces. They faced a formidable adversary, yet they refused to back down. They fought with everything they had, for a cause they believed in. Despite the odds the young nation stood strong, proving its mettle in the face of adversity. After two and a half years of bitter conflict, the War of 1812 came to an end. The final curtain fell not on the battlefield, but in a grand chamber in Ghent, Belgium. Here, American and British diplomats signed the Treaty of Ghent on Christmas Eve in 1814, marking the official end of the war. Yet, it's interesting to note that this treaty didn't resolve any of the issues that initially sparked the conflict. The matters of impressment, trade restrictions, and territorial ambition. They were all swept under the diplomatic rug, left for future generations to contend with. But let's not forget the Battle of New Orleans. Fought between December 24, 1814 and January 8, 1815, it was a strange twist of fate that this significant battle was waged after the Treaty of Ghent was signed. Due to the slow pace of communication in those days, news of the peace treaty hadn't reached the shores of America in time to prevent this final bloody confrontation. The Battle of New Orleans was a resounding victory for the United States led by future President Andrew Jackson. Despite being heavily outnumbered, the American forces managed to inflict heavy casualties on the British, turning the tide in their favor. This victory, though technically unnecessary in ending the war, became a symbol of American tenacity and grit. It boosted national morale, 
solidifying a sense of patriotism and unifying a country that had been so bitterly divided. The War of 1812 may not have been a clear victory for either side, but it was far from meaningless. It confirmed the United States' independence from Britain, established the country as a force to be reckoned with on the global stage, and set the stage for westward expansion. The war ended in a stalemate but it had profound implications for the United States. The echoes of musket fire and cannon blasts may have long since faded, but the impacts of the War of 1812 continue to resonate, shaping America's destiny in ways that still ripple through the fabric of the nation today. The War of 1812, often called the Second War of Independence, left a lasting impact on the United States. This conflict, which raged for two and a half years, not only reshaped the physical landscape but also the political and cultural identity of a young nation. In the wake of the war, a newfound sense of national unity emerged. The collective struggle against a common enemy fostered a sense of shared identity and purpose. Every citizen, whether a soldier on the battlefield or a civilian at home, had contributed to the preservation of the young republic. This shared experience of triumph over adversity created a bond that transcended regional loyalties and helped to consolidate the disparate states into a unified nation. Politically the war marked the end of the Federalist Party. The party's opposition to the war was seen as unpatriotic and led to its decline and eventual dissolution. In its place rose the era of good feelings, a period characterized by a one-party system and a sense of national consensus. It was a time when political differences were set aside in favor of unity and cooperation. The war also gave birth to a cultural icon that still resonates today. Amid the smoke and chaos of the Battle of Fort McHenry, Francis Scott Key penned the Star-Spangled Banner, a song that would become the national anthem of the United States. This anthem, inspired by the sight of the American flag still flying after a night of intense bombardment, encapsulates the resilience and determination of the American spirit, Moreover, the war's legacy extends beyond borders. The United States emerged from the war with a renewed sense of confidence and a determination to defend its interests on the global stage. This war marked a turning point, solidifying the United States' status as an independent nation capable of defending its sovereignty. In the crucible of war a young nation found its voice and cemented its place on the world stage. The War of 1812 may not be as famous as the Revolutionary War or the Civil War, but its significance cannot be understated. As we've journeyed through the chapters of this often overlooked period in history, we've uncovered the intricate details that make it a pivotal point in America's narrative. Let's take a moment to recap the key points we've unraveled. The war was triggered by a series of grievances that the young United States had against Great Britain, including trade restrictions, impressment of American sailors, and British support of Native American tribes against American expansion. The war was punctuated by significant battles and events. Instances of bravery, strategy and defiance painted the canvas of this conflict. The Battle of Lake Erie, the burning of Washington DC and the Battle of New Orleans were not just military engagements they were defining moments that shaped the course of the war. The Treaty of Ghent signed in a Belgian city on Christmas Eve in 1814 marked the end of the war, however, it did not address many of the issues that led to the war in the first place. It was more a truce than a solution, a pause in hostilities that paved the way for future negotiations and understanding. Lastly we delved into the legacy of the war. The War of 1812 helped foster a sense of national identity and unity. It spurred economic changes, promoted westward expansion, and set the stage for the era of good feelings. The war also gave us national symbols and heroes like the Star Spangled Banner and Andrew Jackson, that continue to be part of our collective consciousness. The War of 1812, a defining chapter in America's history, continues to resonate today, shaping our nation's identity and reminding us of the resilience and spirit of those who fought for its future.